Hey there, this is Tyler with the PaperCut support team. Did you know that your user web interface and user client software can be fully customized to match your organization's image? In this two-part video, we'll be going over exactly how to customize your software to match your organization's aesthetic. First, we'll cover the basics of changing some of the main colors, and we'll go over adding custom icons where we can. In the next video, we'll discuss some of the more advanced configurations that you can make with CSS files and the client config.properties file. Before we dive into the where and how, we'll first cover the assets that we'll want to collect. Today, I'm an administrator for Papercut University, home of the fighting platypi. Papercut software's color scheme is awesome, but I've been tasked to make the UI match our school's colors a little more. I want to add custom images and colors wherever I can to get this thing looking the part. Papercut can take up to six distinct images for customization. The first type is just a basic icon image. It's limited to 64 by 64 resolution, and it's only used for the user client software. The second type is the logo image. There are a few subtypes of logo images, depending on the interface that you're applying them to. First, there's the login logo, which is limited to 192 by 80 resolution. The admin interface has a custom logo as well, which is limited to 320 by 80. Then there's the end user logo, which can be up to 196 by 50 resolution. Finally, there's the report logo. This image is a little strange, as it can go up to 1041 by 333 pixels in resolution. Despite this logo's size, though, it will most often be used as a small icon at the top of the page. So I'll actually be using a similar image to my user web UI. The last image file that we'll need is a background file for our login page. This image can be up to 1366 by 768 resolution. Alternatively, you can also just use a solid color background with the color code of your choice. Of course, with all these images, we'll want our colors to shine through too. The fighting platypi are known for their signature blue, white, and gray uniforms. So we'll be sure to add those colors to the UI. Now that we've established the files that we're working with, let's head over to the options menu in the PaperCut admin interface. Scroll down until you see the client software header. Here you'll see that you can add a background color for the client software. I think this will look great in our gray color. We also have the space for the icon file that I mentioned as well. So let's go ahead and add that up real quick. In addition to the visual changes that I've made, I also want to give our students fast access to the Help Desk web page. So I'll be checking the box Change Link on Balance Window. Here, I'll add the address for our Help Desk. One thing you'll want to note is that this requires the full address of the destination, including the protocol. So be sure to add HTTP or HTTPS to your address if you set this setting. Now we're ready to move on to the login page customization. I have a great fighting platypus background image for this page, so I'll add that here. Additionally, I want our school logo to be displayed front and center on this page. So I'll pick our logo image that has the school name. Here you can also add instructions for your end users to make the sign in process a little easier for them. Finally, you can change the color of the login button. I'm thinking our blue is going to be perfect for this one. Next up is the admin interface. The customization on the admin interface is a bit more limited than it is for your end user interface. So here, I just want to add a transparent image so there aren't too many colors going on at once. I also like the look of the logo at the top, so I'm going to move the icon up using the position option. After that, we've got some more options for the end user web interface. I'm going to change that green bar at the top over to our gray. Then I'll select our slightly smaller logo file that we have picked out for this. Finally, we're ready to add the custom logo for the reporting. I'll quickly select our designated image file here and we'll be all set with our basic configuration. We'll click apply and immediately see our new logo up at the top of the admin interface. Let's run a quick report to make sure things have gone through there too. Our executive summary report is now looking pretty on brand. Now, let's check out our new logon page to see how the customizations panned out there. Everything is looking great. One thing that I see, though, is that the navigation bar on the left side of the user interface is still in the paper cut color scheme. 
all of the buttons and highlights are still green too. We'll also see that the text in our user client software is a bit hard to read since it's still in the default green color. As an admin, you're totally fine to leave things as they are now. It's up to you if you want to pursue further customization. Now that we've covered the basic configurations, this is a great stopping point for this video. Tune in to our next video for information about the advanced customizations you can make for your user interface. Thanks for watching and have a great day.